Hi, so today I will show two games that have uh, uh, editor uh, abilities or editing abilities Platego and Novel Ads and they are both platformers with difference and they are on the same price range so I will start with Platago because a uh, lot of people are confused by it and uh, yeah, it's also, it has also some nice features so you are greeted with that screen and you just click create you will see that I have already some kind of level created so I will simply clear it okay and the level is empty so this is the grid and uh, where you can do your level it's big by default and yeah, you can't resize it but you are not forced to use everything of course so let's go back to the player and add some floors for that you see that you have a bar and it says A and you will see why it says A and the first slot is blocks if I click I have this grid and I can choose uh, the design of the block and you will notice that they some of them looks alike and they go by pair so this with this that with that and the difference is that those on the top of each pair uh, permit to create uh, rectangles and these rectangles will be bounded by a platform so if I take that one for example and I drag from top left to bottom right you see that the top of the block has a workable area let's move the player a bit okay and so if I play this then uh, the as expected we have a platform where we can work yeah? it's the ground so it works as expected now you can also make uh, sailings and for that we drag from bottom left to top right and you see that the thing got flipped vertically and now I have a sailing so that's how uh, this uh, house works and it's the same for example if I take this greenish slot if I do from top left to bottom right then you see that the only that side has received the ledge and if I do from bottom left to top right then you see that it makes a sailing but also the left and right direction are important and to demonstrate this I will take uh, again this one and let's move the view and even I will bomb it so it's easier if I uh, drag from top right like this and then but yes I don't know I always think forwards and I said top right for top left so now if I drag from top right to bottom left they look alike but if I connect them you can see that there is a scene this uh, dark uh, scene and of course we can have a light scene if we do there uh, I think that if I do like this yeah it creates a light scene so because the thing is flipped now let's see some confusing bits uh, when you do a region, so like I do a region like this if I right click I can move it and that means that I may think uh, I will do another region there so I have a gap I should jump over and then you think ah yeah but I want to resize the gap so you naturally right click and ah yeah it works nice and you can uh, make the gap wider or smaller and then you want to change this one so you right click on it and yeah it seems it works okay and now you say ah but I will delete uh, maybe few there and one there just to make uh, some interesting shape like this and uh, you may think that you may be able to uh, right click and move it and you may not have seen what it happened so I will make it more obvious let's make a dance like this 
fill out to have something on passing and now I right click to move that and to make the gap wider and bim it did fill the gap so you just lost your edit because you try to move the block yeah so that's not really intuitive what I saw also on some videos is that people are confused by the layering system which I I, I quite like how they did that but okay so on the top left it says world and if I click it says world back and if I click world front that means that now I am on the world front everything I will draw will end up being on the front of the view and if I click to world back everything I will draw will be on the back so now remember that the left thing is on the front, the right thing is on the back. And now I select world and I will play it. And yeah, I'm not uh, at the right place, so I will move the player there. So if I walk, you see that because this is on the front, the player appears at the back of it and because the other one is on the back layer then the player appear on front of, of it and yeah, that means also because it's not on the same uh, layer as the player it doesn't interact with player which means that uh, yeah you can do like uh, stuff that are not funny for players like you can do go to the world back do that up and then uh, go to the world itself and do that and if I play it and I work you see that yeah it's, it looks continuous but this uh, part will not interact with the player and that means that I will fall through you see so yeah that's uh, a shitty way to make a traps like uh, for example now I can go on the world level scroll to find the spike if I do okay like this and uh, let's take this one I put my spikes and uh, yeah, I move to the world front and I just pick the same uh, the same one now they are over the spike and yeah if I play this and I walk innocently no, double. and then uh, I don't see that of course so I walk and I die so yeah that's not very fun to do that but uh, it's possible and yeah mostly use that for a secret area instead yeah, so rewards so players uh, are incentivized to uh, explore your, play uh, your level and uh, put ins like uh, when there is a secret area then uh, there is like a flower nearby and so the first time players will just go over and do not notice it notice it and then at some point they will visit few secret area and say hey but each time it looks like there is that these are uh, flowers there so yeah so that's quite nice because that means that they need uh, experience to better visit your levels so it's rewarding now let's see something else that is uh, confusing so you have the moving platforms and so we can select and place yeah it should be okay but you have to put it on the work so if I click I have my platform but this will not move uh, by default it's just a dual platform so if I play this then yeah, you have a platform and it does nothing but you can add a uh, um, motion to it and what you may think is that when you right click it says all of this so it's ah, nice so now I will put some uh, speed so always put speed then I, yeah, I will move it uh, three tiles horizontally and then you play it and nothing happened the, the platform just stays static because that's now not how it works well, what I just configured so when I right click and say movement speed 
uh, yeah, and then uh, like uh, five. I just configured the platform I am holding. So if I drop it, now you see that uh, it's moving. So that's uh, confusing because that means that if I want to change the behavior of this platform, I have to delete it and then right click there put my settings and then only I can uh, place the new one over. So that's very important to remember that. The other one is uh, of course that each time you want to visit a toolbar, you have to cycle through every other toolbars. Uh, that's a bit annoying, but okay. Another thing that people seem to not get are how this uh, works. So if you take a teleporter like this door and I place it there, then I can place another uh, door there, for example. And you see it says link ID 1, so that means they are linked, which means that if I enter this, then I go over the, uh, yeah, quite easy to understand. But that's the, yeah, it's limited if you do that. What you can do is, add one there and then go to that screen that says region editor you click and now you can add a region enter the region and drop the teleporter and it says it says link id 2 and that means that yeah if i provide some uh, walking floor let's try to be uh, ah, it's uh, done for the the space team I think so I will switch the background to the space background I think I saw this yeah okay so now you see that you have a link ID too and if I click back to that monitor you see that it's linked so now we have a map of a uh, region and that's quite cool to have this overview okay so now if I play this you see that I enter this that is local and then that one that change region and by doing so I just double the amount of stuff I can put on the level up because that's a new region and so it has its own size which is uh, quite big uh, so yeah so you can do really huge level up and the other things I like uh, with that uh, stuff is that it has multiple teams so if you click this then you can see that uh, yeah you have nice uh, teams you see so now I, have, I am a Game Boy team and yeah so yeah that's uh, really nice to have uh, that many styles but it's just that it's not really intuitive and uh, even the editor uh, follows the, the style so the, the thing I, I, uh, ah, I don't like is the fact that you have to browse through the to the bars like that but I just saw that if you do a right click yeah you can uh, go back to the previous one which means that yeah at worst you have to click uh, two times so that's already a bit better there is also the possibility to switch uh, things on, off, on and off and that's only for switchable uh, items so let's see for example blah 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 blah, blah no 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 okay that's uh, not what I want maybe it was in the A then Okay, that's not that. So now I'm looking for uh, blocks that uh, are switchable. And I don't see them there. Switchable uh, black blocks. So now I can, for example, say, okay. And then you see that, yeah. Uh, it's not like that. I have first to configure this, so right click, toggle start uh, hidden, and I will 
put it on um, mask one so it has to match this so okay now I will uh, draw my barrier uh, I would say and I will add an enemy so like this one and I will configure it switch this one and put it there so now when I will kill it uh, but uh, I think I did the reverse there so it will uh, it will show the barrier when I will hit the enemy because I yeah I, I, I put start hidden so <laughs> and I have no weapon to kill it okay so we will fix that too so you place the block and now see that it says place the item you want to appear on top but what they mean by on top is not uh, because this is on top if you place this there or above but if you place it over it and that's what they mean by on top if you place it over it then it will uh, work as expected so and then we hit and get the bonus and with that we can kill the monster Ula. and yeah I, I was uh, right on the stuff but you saw I killed the beast and the wall did appear and now if I want to change this because I did it uh, not correctly I have to delete so I delete and then right click toggle done and then make my wall and now it should be correct because I have the same mask just say that it should not uh, I didn't check the cell to say uh, start hidden so just kill this and the uh, way is free and you have also the a double jump so that's uh, how this one works and yeah so it's not really hard but you have to keep in mind that when you place your stuff you first have to configure it then you can place it you see then uh, yeah, you have so just do the configuration before the placement you can't uh, reconfigure an object you have to configure it then place it very important that's why I'm repeating it over and over so that's uh, how this uh, engine works now let's uh, see the ah uh, yeah then uh, there was the background stuff but you kind of see it so now let's switch to the other one so I will quit this one then we'll launch level head so here uh, the game is a bit different because we have uh, an objective that is uh, already defined it uses the game maker engine but uh, I don't really like that engine but okay so now we have uh, the workshop that's where you do your uh, creation so I will create a new one and I can select the size before uh, doing anything in the other one the size was fixed but it was huge there it's uh, you have to choose it and this game support hazard so I can uh, move I in an easier way and as you can see if I go to the boundaries I can resize so you can just say make it bigger and it works okay and yeah if you try to make something uh, invalid then uh, it prevents you to do it okay so we have uh, the blocks and stuff like that so these are uh, these blocks and we can uh, put them and like the other game if you want to put something you have to put it over but there it's uh, always visible so that's uh, nice and uh, yeah so what can we say more uh, to that uh, yeah so we have the admins and stuff like that and everything is on these bars and you have quick access to it and 
the suburb trends are hidden so you have the arrow there so if you click the item then it shows you the variant that you can use so very easy to use but the other stuff is like let's take uh, this one for example i will place it there you see you, you have your fire bar but now when i over uh, here you see an eye and this eye means that you can look inside because there are some parameters and so if i click you see that pa panel that just did pop up and you see some helpers that helps you to know where it will what we to touch so that's the effects of uh, the radius of effects and yeah you can change the how where it starts for example and you can input a value like uh, 90 then then you can so yeah you can just click on stuff and see ah uh, what does it do because it's uh, real time yeah uh see we even uh, have uh, other kind of helpers so that's uh yeah that's uh you see the big difference and yeah it's really easy to discover every option uh, i mean uh, and I it's about the same price range huh? so there is no excuse now there are, there are stuff that are a bit less visible so if you do uh, this, you see that there is uh, allez, only one uh, stuff. I mean, uh, allez, you don't see the size or something like that. Or maybe if I look at that, yeah, you see that uh, you have basic settings. But the, the things that uh, I want to highlight is that if I draw four of them, I have a bigger one. And that is not uh, directly visible, but you should uh, quickly find about it. And this is true for, for many entities. So if I take the flame, you can have a small flame and bigger or bigger. And if there is an eye, that means that I can do some uh, adjustment uh, like uh, how it will swing and stuff like that see that's uh so this one for example doesn't work like that and th that option it's an example of stuff i don't know what it does ah yeah okay that's a floor trap so it will locking so it will avoid the floor trap to trigger so and then these blocks i'm sure it will uh, yeah because uh, yeah, that makes sense that this one uh, can't be bigger and yeah so the equivalent to the flame we saw was uh, like the cannon and yeah you can just change the way it, it behave so yeah that's much easier also you have costumes so that means that uh, if you go to uh, pickups you have this let's say that uh, you want to do a metroidvania so i will put this there and up and i will put some uh, walls that we can't pass over so like uh, like this yeah then i do voila and the uh, player can only jump that uh, eye you can see that i have a small li line helping me so now i'm stuck so i can't jump over that big wall but if i take this costume i just gain a new ability and i can zap through the through the wall so yeah so that means that you can really do interesting levels and also this uh, zapping ability permit to jump a bit farther because i can uh, just zap a bit farther so you can take this into account in uh, 
that a value of trace. So here, yeah, you can really see that this one is more intuitive, more polished, and yeah, that's uh, and it has more behaviors, and the price is about the same. Let's see the moving platforms, and then uh, it will be good to and the uh, comparison. So I can create paths like this. But these paths are not uh, limited to one segment, so I can make something a bit more uh, interesting, let's say. Can also, of course, do slopes. And I can connect stuff to that path. So I can say uh, there are the visuals, so that's how the paths would be uh, rendered, let's say. Oops. Let's say uh, well that one like chimes, and then we go out of uh, path uh, editing, and we may put some platforms. Yeah, by default it puts that small platform, but uh, that's not uh, yeah no, that's not uh, fair to the player. So we'll take a bigger one like this one, and you can of course put uh, some enemies. Uh, let's see, I said admins, so that should be that, and that one, there, and you see that there is a lock, that means it's locked to the path, so it will move with the path, then you want to make it uh, small, to be fair, again, then, uh, yeah, maybe two, so we have a little gap, okay, that looks good, uh, and then uh, speed, Maybe not zero, but yeah. Mm, let's put a real number there, like uh, 10. So very slow. And now if I play that, then, uh, uh, okay. I did forget that I was uh, at the beginning. I just missed the platform, of course. So that would mean that I would have to wait. Or not, huh? so if you are fast enough, up, you can catch it, and uh, it's a uh, crazy in every ways. But uh, yeah, you got it. You can do interesting uh, stuff. There is also the possibility to have uh, stuff that will go uh, in the foreground. But uh, yeah, I do not uh, remember the the stuff how it works. Let's see. I know that uh, you can have stuff on the front, but yeah, how, how is done? That's uh, the big question. Ah, it says create hidden leaves or rocky or something and backdrop. So, okay, these are the backdrop stuff. So now I can put these uh, there up. And then, uh, yeah, that's uh, just to make the stuff more interesting. And we saw that we have this, so. Okay, so now if I play this, this area will be hidden. Which means I shouldn't be uh, okay. So that's a uh, yeah. that's an interesting stuff, and uh, you can also probably the hook this to the no you can't you can't not that way. Okay, so you probably have to do it a switch somewhere it to reveal uh, the secrets and then uh, if I do that it says resaving zero okay so now if I touch that I will show this one because sometimes you have to help the, the user and 
Yeah, doesn't work uh, like I expect this one. Not good, huh? Ah, yeah, because uh, probably that's why I'm uh, yeah, okay. I could uh, use that one directly. Okay, let's uh, play this up, and now I will kill that enemy, and it reloads. So you can have uh, some uh, logic in, in that using that, so that can be. Interesting. So yeah, that's uh if you take a bit of time then you can uh uh make uh pretty much everything you want. Also you saw that if I if I press F I will spawn where there is this uh, cross. So that's uh, useful for testing. And uh yeah then uh, you see also this. I can uh, change the wave switch change and that means I, I can uh, debug stuff easily and I can also say okay I have uh, some power up because you may expect that uh, at some uh, place you get some power up to, pro to proceed but you don't want to go through the wood level so yeah so that's yeah that's very different from the other game and that's why I spent much more time explaining stuff there but there is too much to to explain uh, because yeah that's a big game and uh, yeah so I didn't explore everything yet. So that's the comparison between the two. Uh, and uh, let's see the pricing. So you see that uh, I'm not saying uh, bullshit stuff. So if we go to Steam and we go to the store page and yeah Steam is not uh, the fastest thing, but let's look at the price of this. Okay, so it's uh, 16. And uh, yeah, I can have uh, something. Okay, and it would be, but yeah, it's, six uh, it's 17. And let's see the price of this. And it's, yeah. Uh, 15 because or 16 because I got a rebate, uh, but otherwise it's uh, almost uh, 20 euro. So you see that it's a bit more expensive, but the uh, quality is not the same. Uh. The thing is that in Patago you can put your own uh, resource, and then there is that one that uh, I didn't show because uh, that would be a bit more complex and it's for. 3D games so we get out of this but a good one I would like to show then is uh, one called Godot so we will finish uh, with uh, something that is not a game that you install and it's more an engine like Unity so and I will go even further yeah, not recycle uh, anything just let's go to the website. So we have this uh, website and uh, click download and click 64 bits. And you see that it downloads uh, stuff. Yeah, okay, it's uh, 70, 27 um, uh, megabyte, but okay. The connection is slow, so let's. Uh, this is another one, like a Let's go straight to a backup I have. So, this one I launch it, and this is the editor. And there, I already created a breakout gate, so we can click edit. 
and this is the the game you can launch it and uh, yeah it works as expected and to make that game you use the notes that that uh, gadget provide so basically everything you see there was created uh, using objects that are available in gadget and uh, there it's 3d so it may be intermediating so let's do something different that was just to show that uh, it was uh, possible so let's go back to 2d stuff so what you get there you get all your resources so the images and few nodes and the scene breakout.scene that's stuff that uh, where you create your game and you can see that we have uh, something and to make that something we just say okay I want a kinematic object so that's an object that will move and if we go into that object we can see the behaviors and we have of course there to write some code but that's code that's easy to write so yeah then that kind of set gives you the ultimate flexibility so that means that th you are not limited to what the developer did because you become the developer so that's works to learn and of course it's as a steeper learning curve that the two editors we saw but it gives you uh, extreme flexibility so an example of what you can do with that if you learn it uh, then you can go to ls up you can do things like this one or even uh, let's take that one now yeah I, I already show so i will just run cubes that's a project i made and basically you have uh, this environment where you can pick up cubes and you can rotate them in various uh, ways and these cubes are uh, used to solve puzzles so if uh, we go to the project and edit it I can open uh, the scene that is uh, voilà, it did open it for me and I have my players there and I can move it to the beginning of the game so it would be up, I can move it there So you see that uh, yeah, you have to be a bit more proficient with uh, 3D for uh, navigation alone. Okay, so like this, and if I play this, then I am at the start of the game. And uh, yeah, you can see that it's these are features that uh, are not possible in, in the other engine because this one is really to make uh, a full fledged game huh? so that's that's like uh, unity that you probably know but uh, i find this one much easier than unity and that's why i'm showing it and i uh, teach this i show this to kids so like 10 and 14 uh, year olds so that's not like uh, you have to be a pro developer to do it and here is a first puzzle that is not purely physical you simply have to match the box that is there to open that door so basically you pick uh, you put yourself like this so you see the both sides and then locate the yellow side and now you can just rotate to get the green side so now they match so if you put it there it opens the door and yeah you gain your uh, freedom 
so that's uh yeah okay that's uh, the kind of games you can do and yeah you can do pretty much anything you want to be honest because it's up to how much you can code and still i will show this because uh you may uh, no not that of course you may recognize that game with the title it's even easier so let's see the maybe the main level so ah nice so that's play probably not this one then Ah, so the, the that one is uh, broken because the, the I I uh, used some uh, external editor and that's what can happen and I didn't reinstall it properly, so the the game is broken. So that can also happen. Ah, that's yeah. When you build stuff, you have to be careful. But the idea was to show that yeah, you can do really a uh, very different game. Like, okay, you saw a first breakout, let's see this one. So you have a small uh, start screen and when you click, you have a full game with uh, different levels, lives, scores and stuff like that. And of course, for example, this is not possible with the things we saw because simply put it's not a platformer so yeah you can't uh, do that uh, that's uh, that simple and all graphics are custom and the best of this uh, is that the godot is free so free open source and uh, you can even uh, change the source and do whatever you want with it so that is the cheapest of the three and yeah it's even for me beats the uh, game maker because uh yeah the game maker stuff doesn't support uh, proper uh, objects and stuff like that so you bump into a lot of limitations and i don't know why people uh, defend it and it's 300 uh, euros for a base package and then you add for every add-ons with uh, godot yeah what you can do is simple for zero euro more so you saw i just download there that's if you pay zero euro more then you can export to the web and uh, let's see we have uh, the witness for example and if i launch that yeah it has to load Ah, voilà. Took some time to get there, but now we have it. So basically, it's a game where you have to solve uh, this kind of puzzles. And then you can uh, move forward. So that's uh, a clone of a game that was uh, already existing. And you see that, yeah, it's uh, online. So it was exported to be played on a browser huh? so uh, like um, let's see if you have uh, you have the cubes game we saw memory pantaminos smart slide no this is uh, not a uh, voilà so this is a uh, old one and yeah you can see that uh, you can make that kind of puzzle games when i did that one i i i, I didn't add the proper uh, way to structure my project so they are a bit uh, simple and uh, yeah. also what i like to do with uh, games like this is uh, answering they are always solvable so the 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 game engine i create do check whatever you push at it and not only so 
the blocks are not associated to their uh, end to their so I'm not just checking that this block should be there and that one should be there I'm just checking that the rules are observed so if the edge matches then the games consider that to find the solution even if it's not the intended one as soon as uh, it just obey the rules so if I uh, s yeah if I switch these two then for the games it's perfectly fine because yeah it's it does match uh, so that means that you often have more than one solution and this tricks people so that that makes the, ga the game uh, harder in fact to have more than one solution because that means that you have branching in your decision and uh, yeah that just make it much harder but you see that yeah there is a big difference between these and a full fledged engine of course and that even a uh, cheaper doesn't mean that it's uh, shittier uh, so that in that case this one is more expensive but it's less polished that than this one and this one has a lot of helpers to f I mean to build levels and this one doesn't but this one has three options that that one doesn't have like you could put your uh, own assets so sprites visual stuff and uh, and you can also change the player physics but this one has specific power-ups that totally change how the game is played so you see that uh, they are uh, quite different but still this one is way above it and yeah and i don't think that uh, platago will reach that level because they, they really went the wrong way and that's hard to to go back or to make so that that, that would take a lot of time now it has its, its place because yeah it's uh, still fun to play with it but yeah that's not worth uh, 20 bucks <laughs> no, at least not when uh, people can do better with less or when there is a uh, free alternatives uh, so i hope you enjoyed this uh, hour long video and that i gave you a good idea